This is my grandma, Nancy Lee Cutler. She was born on December 22, 1942, in Columbus, Ohio. But she grew up in Winber, Pennsylvania, and Steubenville, Ohio. She lived with her mother, stepfather, and stepbrother while growing up. She got her nursing degree at the Ohio Valley Hospital and took classes at Ohio State University. Then she got married on June 15th of 1967. And she had three children, Neil, my dad, Robin, and Ben. What does faith in a higher power mean to you? Well, Annika, there are several, there are a number of things that I don't know or understand. And I am a person who believes in science. So that makes a difference in a lot of ways. The idea that there is a higher power is reassuring and allows us to accept what we don't understand. Why do you think it is important for people to have a religion or faith? Well, faith provides a moral education for children about how to become a good person. And it also provides traditions and cultural rituals which help to strengthen family ties. And what was the most significant event of your faith life and why? Well, I thought about this for a long time, and um, I decided that I think that getting married in the Jewish temple was the most important thing for me, because I was raised a Christian as a young child. The rabbi was very welcoming to me, and I just felt right at home when I got married in the temple. He, he was a very loving, kind, understanding man, and he helped me um, to... Uh, make that decision. And the Old Testament, which is a Torah, has all the values and mores that I try to follow now in my everyday life. What do you wish someone would have told you about life when you were my age? Well, as a young child, um, I didn't get really a lot of guidance from my mother about how to deal with boys in particular. Um, she was distracted by a very difficult divorce when I was a little child. I was only four when she had got divorced from my father. She remarried when I was 10 years old and we moved to Pennsylvania and then I, I, um, we moved from Pennsylvania to Ohio and through that difficult period um, I needed better guidance than I really had but I learned from a lot of my friends and I learned about mistakes that some of my friends made as young women. Particularly, my best friend in high school had to quit school and get married because she was going to have a baby. And I just didn't want that to happen to myself. I thought that was just something that I didn't need, that I needed to go on to for higher education and do something that I really wanted to do. And now, nowadays, adults are much more comfortable explaining these kinds of things. And maybe they were during my mother's time too, but that didn't happen for me. What words of wisdom would you like to share with me today? Oh, I have lots of things I'd love to share with you. And too many things to really incorporate it all into this of what you're doing today. But a few words would be that you are a person who is very accomplished already as a young woman. And um, because at, at your age right now, you also have a lot of potential and still a lot of learning ahead of you. And as you continue to learn and study and gain experience, you will increase your ability to make really good decisions. And that's important because at every stage of your life, you will need to use your best judgment to cope with all the trials and life's perils and temptations that are going to be in front of you. And if you continue to think carefully and use your best judgment, 
with the talents and the intelligence that you have, you're going to overcome those kind of risks. And you'll have a very successful life. The world is open to you as a young woman of the 21st century, much more than it was for me during the 20th century. I was able to have a wonderful career as a nurse and a mother, a, a wife and a mother and a grandmother, but you will have more choices than I did. And so what you have to do is learn how to choose well. <laughs>